Hello, this is going to be a demonstration of the left atrial appendage slash watchman measurements. I'm going to be using the cardiac analysis application in Vitria version 7. My first step is to select my patient, come down and select cardiac analysis, select my series I would like to use for measuring, and then at the bottom right, I'm going to go ahead and select open. Now this particular application will go through and probe out some of our cardiac vessels. Uh, that's not really of interest for me on this particular workflow, so I'm gonna come to the left-hand side under vessel analysis and turn off show vessel. I'm mainly gonna be working with my two-dimensional images at the beginning. We have our blue, green, and red viewports. Blue is going to be our sagittal, green is coronal, red is going to be axial. I like to turn on my crosshair to be a full crosshair. There's a couple of ways of doing that. If you hit H on the keyboard twice, that's going to close that crosshair. Or you can come up to the very top right under the view options, and there is also another area to choose full crosshair. I'm going to scroll through my axials and find my left atrial appendage. I'm going to single left click, kind of near the ostium. And then I'm going to start rotating my lines to, to create some double obliques so I can be in plane. I'm going to rotate my blue line and my axial viewport. I can kind of scroll through make sure I'm kind of going in the right area. I'm then going to come up to my coronal image and do the exact same thing. This will be creating my double oblique. I'm going to make sure that I get it right in the area I need it. Once I'm in plane, I can go ahead and start my measurements. I'm then going to come to my sagittal image, and I'm going to scroll forward and back. I'm currently in my atrium, so I'm going to scroll until it separates itself. Zoom this in so we can see it better. And then I'm going to come up to my toolbar and use my ruler tool going to provide a measurement. If you would like an area in circumference, we're going to go to our toolbar, select our freehand ROI tool, and we're going to single click points around our ostium. Once you get to your last point, you're going to want to double click to close that. Now, if you have a hard time seeing your measurements, you can left click and drag those to an area that you can see better. Next, what I want to do is I want to take a full screen capture. I like to turn my crosshairs back on so I can show exactly where I measured. To do a full screen capture, we're going to use the camera on the top toolbar. This is going to take a snapshot of all views. If you wanted a single viewport, each viewport has its own individual camera. If I would like to do a depth measurement, I'm going to come to my ruler and I'm going to go to my coronal image. Now when you turn on your ruler, your crosshair disappears. A helpful way to see where your crosshair is is by holding Alt down on the keyboard. That's going to bring your crosshair back temporarily as that is pressed in. I'm going to hover my mouse over my blue line. Then I'm going to let go, left click and drag 
to get my measurement. Now I can turn my crosshair back on and I can edit this as needed because my crosshair at this point will not disappear. For this one, I'm just going to take a single measurement. So I'm going to click the camera and the coronal viewport at the top right. Now, if I wanted to create a 3D to get a volume of my left atrial appendage, I'm going to come over to my vessel grow under segment anatomy. I'm going to come to my left atrial appendage, left click and hold down. That's going to grow my appendage. I'm going to add this instead of to a vessel file, I'm going to name it LAA and I'm going to hit add to. Under the segment anatomy section, it's going to give me a heart vessels and there's my left atrial appendage that I just created. If I just want to display that, I'm going to turn off heart and vessels. I'm going to zoom this in so we can see it a little bit better and we can see our atrial appendage. One tool I like to utilize to make sure I have everything included is next to my left atrial appendage folder, there is a tint NPR function. I'm going to click that to turn that on. That's going to turn my left atrial appendage this pinkish red color. If I have any section that is missing, it will not be pink, kind of like the tip here. I'm going to come back, grab my vessel, left click and hold down and add that to my left atrial appendage. Now I kind of spilled out into the atrium and you can kind of see my blue line is my ostium. A quick way I like to cut off the excess is to come to my 3D tab and go to the view options in the upper right hand corner. I'm then going to turn on my 3D crosshair. Now this also has a blue, green, and red line essentially. Blue, yellow, and red on this one. What I want to do is I want to superimpose my blue line because my blue line is my actual left atrial appendage ostium. I'm going to come up to the segment anatomy and hit the sculpt option. I'm going to start on my blue line and I'm going to left click and drag around to the opposite. I'm going to end on the blue line and as soon as I let go, it's going to draw a straight line to where I began. And then I can remove that to the base. That's going to cut all that excess atrium off of my 3D. I can turn off the 3D crosshair at this point. To show volume, I'm going to come to Options and select Show Volume. To take a screen capture, I'm going to take a screen capture in the upper right-hand corner to save that. To turn that off, you're just going to hit X on our volume measurement. One other thing I would like to show is by using the cardiac analysis application, we can actually see our measurements in the 3D viewport. I'm going to switch this to cardiac valves and turn off the heart. I can rotate this around and I can see through the ostium here. If I go to my measurement, I can right click and select show in 3D. If I would like to take a screen capture of that, I'm going to select the camera in the upper right hand corner. Now that I've created my measurements and gotten my volume, I'm going to close out of the application. I'm going to go to the results section. I'm going to select all the pictures I have created. Right click, export. You will have a predetermined destination already selected for your packs. 
If I had any additional annotations, I'm going to select the anno include annotations on images option. And then I'm going to select export. And that is a demonstration of the left atrial appendage utilizing the cardiac analysis application in Vitria version 7.